Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and we've been asked which of the following relationships represent a function. So um, identifying functions, that's the type of problem this is, super popular on the GED. Wouldn't be the least bit surprised if you saw one or two of these on your test. And it's an easy quick score boost, one of the quickest score boosts I know for algebra. So yay, we wanted something that was easy and sure to show up. So let's take a look. Okay, so I'll just remind you, um, we've done videos on this before, but the definition of a function is a relation or relationship, whatever, relation in which each input value, input value often also called um, independent variable uh, in math is often frequently represented with the letter X, okay? So in which e each input value is mapped to one and only one and I know this is a really technical uh, math definition. Don't worry, I'm going to turn it into English in just a second. But it's mapped to one and only one. Oops, I forgot. Output value. Output value, also called the dependent variable. Very frequently we use Y for that in math class. So what am I saying? I'm saying that each math X, I'm sorry, let me say that again. <laughs> each X is only paired with one single solitary y. Now, this is a pretty simple concept, but in order to understand it in uh, this context here, you're gonna have to know what you're looking at here. So what are these things? See this curly bracket here? This says this is a set, and it's a set of what? This is a set of points. That's the point five one, the point three negative one, the point negative seven three, uh, the point 13, 2, and the point 3, negative 5. So basically, imagine that I have a bag, a set is like a bag, a container, and it's got five points in it. So it's this relation. It's a relation of five points. Why do I say it's a relation? Well, x and y are related. You put in an x, you get out a certain y. So that's what a point is. It says when x is 5 here, y is 1. Or when x is 3, uh, y is negative 1. When x is negative 7, y is 3. When x is 13, y is 2. And now something interesting is going to happen. Now it says when x is 3, y is negative 5. But uh-oh, that's weird because just a few points ago, I said that when x was 3, y was negative 1. And here I'm saying when x is 3, y is negative 5. Uh-oh, I have broken the definition for a function. This relation is not a function because sometimes the x value of 3 is mapped to a y, an output value of negative 1, but sometimes an x value of 3 is mapped to a y output value of negative 5. We can't have when we put in the same number, we get out a different answer and have it still be a function. So this one is not a function. Similarly, I'm just going to basically go through and see if I can find any repeating x's. So let's look down here at c. Um, this one, we see an x of 2 mapped to 4. Here we have an x of 4 mapped to 2, and an x of negative 2 mapped to 4. That's okay, 2 and negative 2 are different x's, so it doesn't matter. Um, here I have an x of 4 mapped to negative 2. Uh-oh, once again I've encountered an issue. Here I have an x, an input value of 4, and when I input it I get out 2. Um, uh, I have a y value of 2, and yet here my x of 4 is mapped to a y value of negative 2. This failed the function test. My, x, my x's are not all faithful. Okay, so this is not a function either. But let's take a look at this one. I have an x of 5 and a y of 0, an x of 4 and a y of 0, an x of negative 2 and a y of 0, an x of 11 and a y of 0, an x of 3 and a y of 1. Now a lot of students try to tell me that this one isn't a function either because they see all these repeating y's. But <laughs> functions, kind of like life, are a little bit of a double standard. It's only the x's that have to remain faithful. Nobody cares about the y. So take a look. I only see 5 ever mapped to 0. Same thing with 4. It's only mapped to 0. So see how none of these x's values repeat? Yeah, I've got a function here. The correct answer is B. 
All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.